I want to apologize to the officer's family. Silent and seemingly unfazed, 41-year-old Lindy Jones was off to central booking, ushered into a police cruiser outside the 101st precinct, right past a big picture of Officer Jonathan Diller propped up at the door. There you go. What's going on, party people? What is going on? It's your ride share extraordinaire. Your super duper Uber drivers here, guys. Yes, thank you. You guys, you already know the deal. Before you hop in my ride, do me a favor. Hit the like. Hit that subscribe. Por favor. All right, let's do this. Hop on in. Buckle in. And let's go. Yeah! All right, party people, welcome back. And if you're new to my channel, thank you for hitting that subscribe button. All right, guys, <clears throat> with a heavy heart, I hate to report the story. Coming out of New York, New York City is a dumpster fire. And, um, man, if you're still in New York, man, you need to get out. But here's a news clip, and let's take a look. Jim, two men have blood on their hands tonight. And the more we learn about their background and their alleged criminal intent, the more infuriating this gets. Residents here especially alarmed at how much violence spilled out on this busy road. Tonight, more disturbing details of the men now in custody. The cell phone video shows the arrest of the alleged killer. Investigators now believe two ex-convicts were casing a T-Mobile store on Mott Avenue in Far Rockaway. Monday night, two officers with the community response team asked them to move their Kia from the bus stop where they were apparently parked illegally. That's when the encounter turns deadly. Officials say they refused to roll down their windows. Officer Jonathan Diller ordered the passenger to show his hands. Instead, the passenger allegedly pulled a weapon on the officer and killed him. The bullet striking just below Diller's vest. They have no regard, no respect for the law, for citizens, for people. Records show the passenger, 34-year-old Guy Rivera, has 21 prior arrests, including nine felonies. He was released from prison about two and a half years ago. Police say his illegal gun and an alarming amount of ammunition were recovered at the scene. The driver of the car has been identified as 41-year-old Lindy Jones. Officials point out he's been arrested 14 times, incarcerated for a decade, then released, and just last year was arrested again on another gun charge. Yet Jones was currently out on bail. The heavy rap sheets for both men, the loss of a brave young officer, have broken the city's heart. Expressions of grief now grace multiple precincts. Yeah, so that's not even the worst part about it. The worst part is the way this administration has been handling this uh this tragic story. We have the press secretary here, the Haitian lesbian, Jean Pierre, this knucklehead here. Let's take a listen of the response from the administration. To um uh, the death of the officer. Look, our hearts go out uh, to this officer who tragically lost his life in the line of duty. We're also praying for his family during this difficult time, uh, who now has an empty seat at their dinner table. President Biden is deeply grateful for the sacrifices police officers make to keep our community safe. Uh, this shooting is yet another painful reminder of the toll of gun violence, that what it's, what it's doing to inflict uh, on families and our communities and our nation. Uh, and that's why the president signed more than two dozen executive actions. That's why we're able to pass a bipartisan agreement to uh, deal with the gun violence that we're seeing in this country. Obviously, more work needs to be done. We need Congress to continue to act uh, on making sure that our communities are safe uh, and um, again our hearts go out uh, to the to this office and here we go again blaming the guns Jean-Pierre never mind the policies never mind the illegal immigrations never mind the catch and release bail that you do now a criminal will commit a crime today and tomorrow he's out on bail with an ankle monitor. In New York City, you could dismember a person and still walk out the next day with a 
Low Bell. Alvin Bragg. Okay, so don't blame this on the guns. The guy is not supposed to be out anyway. He had 21 charges on him before. He just came out of prison. And he's back on the streets with an illegal gun. You have to find a way to catch the illegal guns and not make all of New York pay for it. New York City has the strongest gun uh, restrictions in the land. And yet we still have people with guns. And yet you want to do more laws on guns. It's not the guns. It's not the guns. It's your weak liberal politicians who favor the criminals over the taxpayers. Well, thank you very much, everybody. I want to thank Bruce and all of the people that have worked so hard to make this area beautiful and safe. And this is what happened is such a sad, sad event, such a horrible thing. And it's happening all too often. And we're just not going to let it happen. We just can't. 21 times arrested, this thug. And uh, the person in the car with him was arrested many times. And they don't learn because they don't respect. They don't, they're not given the respect. The police are the greatest people we have. There's nothing and there's nobody like them. And this should never happen. I just visited with a very beautiful wife that now doesn't have her husband. Stephanie was uh, just incredible. Their child, brand new, beautiful baby sitting there innocent as can be that uh, doesn't know how his life has been changed but uh the diller family will you'll never be the same you can never be the same and we have to stop it we have to stop it we have to get back to law and order we have to do a lot of things differently because this is not working this is happening too often uh, it's an honor to be here and again i want to just thank all of you folks for uh, allowing this and Bruce thank you Bruce has been a friend of mine for a long time he's done an incredible job out here but uh, this is such a sad occasion uh, the only thing we can say is maybe something is going to be learned we've got to toughen it up we've got to strengthen it up this should never be allowed things like this shouldn't take place and to take place so often so thank you all for being here it's an honor and it's an honor for me to be here this is a great family the Diller family I met the friends and I met every one of them inside and these are just incredible people that are just devastated they're devastated they've got a tough road it's going to be a very tough road so thank you very much everybody appreciate it before we go <clears throat> i'm going to show you the big farewell for officer diller jonathan diller his last goodbye and thank you sir for your service
right, guys. That's all I got for you today. If you got any value of my content, do me a favor. Hit that like. Hit that subscribe. You see that notification bell? Turn all that notification bell so you get my latest and greatest. Share this content with your best friends. And tell your mama I said hi. All right. Till next time, girls. <clears throat> Choked up. Get off my lawn.